Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. Today we are doing a back to school outfits look look. Even if you're not currently in school or planning to go back to school anytime soon, this is just a super casual, cozy outfits look look. These are outfits that I would wear if I was going back to school. So I'm super excited to dive into these looks. Everlane also is a sponsor of today's video. You guys know I've been a huge fan of Everlane for years. A lot of my style videos have featured a lot of Everlane pieces just because I love their clothing. They're sustainable. They also have a lot of really great staple pieces for really affordable prices. I'm a huge fan. I'll go ahead and link everything that I talked about as well as my body measurements as always. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the looks. Okay, this is the first outfit and I was actually super excited about this because I feel like if I wore this to school, I'd feel like the coolest kid in every single class. I'm obsessed with this top. It's actually a new piece that I picked up from Aritzia and it's like a neon green bralette situation. It's ribbed and it's so comfortable on. Like I'm wearing no bra underneath and I feel super comfortable in the way that it is. And over top, I have a crop dress shirt, button up if you will. This is from Everlane and I love that it's a crop fit because I feel like it makes it look so unique but cool at the same time versus like your typical button-up so I love this and then these jeans are also from Everlane I believe these are the way hygiene I have them in a size 26 and they fit me so perfect I feel like these jeans are so flattering on they're ultra high-rise so if you've been looking for a jean that you can wear with like bralettes crop tops these are ultra high-waisted and my belly button is like down here so like it's not coming out so I love the fit of these they're super comfortable and there's like a little bit of stretch which I love and they're kind of like a straight leg jean but they're kind of tapered off at the bottom so I feel like I could wear it with a lot of different shoes so I have it paired with these checkered vans just because I feel like it helps to add to that like cool off-duty type of vibe which I love and I feel like is very appropriate for going back to school <laughs> okay this next outfit I wanted to style mainly this new top that I got from Everlane you ever just get new things and you're like I'm gonna form an entire outfit around this one item that's what I did I also paired it with this backpack and side note this is probably one of my favorite backpacks of all time I wish I had a backpack this good when I was going to college and this is actually from douchebags and I love it because it has so so many different compartments I just feel like it's a good looking backpack sometimes when you fill backpacks up too much they get like big and bulky this one I'll pack with like my camera laptop hard drives cords all of the things and it stays looking slim and it opens up all the way so 
It's not like one of those like top loading backpacks where you like stuff everything in. You can actually open it up all the way, which is super useful. So I actually use it as like my camera bag. I wish I had a backpack this cool when I was going to college, but anyways, just a side note. As I was saying, I built this whole outfit around this little zip up that I got from Everlane. I'm obsessed with it. It is so soft and cozy. And I feel like especially if you are actually a student and you're sitting in class all day, the main thing is you obviously want to be comfortable. So this top, definitely fits that criteria. I feel like if I paired it with like leggings or sweatpants, I would be pretty much in PJs. I love this top and even though it is really soft and really comfortable, it still is kind of a dressier piece because of the color and the little zip up detail. You can wear as low or high as you want. I'm wearing the same shirt from earlier because I'm lazy. These are also the way high jeans. This is like in a darker wash. So I feel like with these jeans, I wanted to pair with it a lot of black just to really play off of the dark colors that we have going on. Paired with it, my old school bands i feel like these are such a classic basic shoe they're comfortable if you have a long walk or you're gonna be doing a lot of walking this is the ultimate cozy girl comfortable outfit okay this next outfit was largely inspired from tiktok i feel like i've been seeing a lot of these like flared sweatpant yoga pant going around and i love it this outfit is so comfortable and cozy but it still looks really cool and effortless and i actually swapped out my backpack for a tote bag because fashion and these are actually new sweatpants that I got from Everlane and they are kind of like a thinner material so it almost is like a combo between a yoga pant traditional yoga pant and sweatpants and I love them I can see myself wearing these a lot more I paired it with my new balances I recently did a video styling these shoes and four other of my like most worn sneakers in my collection so if you haven't seen it yet I'll go ahead and link it up in the corner but all the colors in here play together really nicely I have a little bralette that actually is padded so I can wear this as just a top it feels super comfortable the way that it is this one is from aloe i talked about it in my last few like styling videos i'm obsessed with it i feel like it's so easy to style and i also bought it in another color as well and then i just have a gray little zip up just to kind of complete the whole look if it is super hot i could wear it just without the zip up but i love this outfit super cool laid back comfortable all the things a college back to school outfit should be this next outfit i feel like i look like an Aritzia employee for college edition. I don't want to ruin my bangs because I just styled them, but I have this all black hat that I wear all the time and I always get so many questions on it, but I'll go ahead and link it down below. I feel like this is a really good shape baseball cap. Sometimes baseball caps like don't look that cool on, but this one pulls together the whole look. It ties in all the black really, really nicely. And then I'm actually styling a unitard that I got from Everlane. I feel like these are so fun so in style and they're so easy to wear because it literally is just like one thing that you throw on and it's really compressive so i don't even need to wear a bra underneath or anything like that and then i just threw over a little crew neck over top this is one that i thrifted so it kind of has like that oversized look i'm obsessed with this color right now and i could totally wear it just over top like this and it just looks like i'm wearing it with biker shorts but it's really nice because I don't even have to wear a bra, which is great. And then I have these white sneakers from The Greats. I recently have been wearing this a lot just because all white sneakers go with like everything. They're so easy to style. This outfit I feel like is very laid back. This is on a day where I feel lazy. I don't wanna put that much effort in and I still wanna be cozy, but in case it's hot, I got something underneath. <laughs> Okay, this next outfit, I'm here for the tones. This little button up I just got also from Everlane. A lot of the things in this video are from Everlane and I am obsessed. It is like a elevated short sleeve button up and it has like this little detail right here in the collar that makes it look so high end and expensive. And I lately have been so into layering button downs and wearing them as like jackets and especially short sleeve ones are great in the warmer months if you live somewhere where it's still warm when you run back to school. Lucky for you, you can wear something like this. And I do have two very similar pairs of shorts from Everlane that I wore in New York. I wanted something that is a little bit more of a dark wash and I do have them rolled, but if you wear them like obviously unrolled, they're a little bit longer and super comfortable. I have them in size 26 and they fit me really, really nicely. Honestly, I think Everlane makes, for the price, some of the best denim. Everything is so comfortable and everything fits true to size. So I know I'm a size 26. All the other jeans I have are 26. 
26 and fit me perfect. And I'm just so into this outfit. I feel like it is giving me almost like Taurus, but like stylish. And then I just paired with it a little beige tote bag just to kind of tone the colors together if you're actually bringing books or whatnot with you. I have a white rib tank top underneath and it is cropped, which I like because I feel like the proportions play really nicely. It makes my legs look ultra long, which we always want. And then I paired with it the same white slippers I have. Also wanted to make a note, I know I'll get some questions about my jewelry. This is a pearl necklace that I just got from Naughty and Low and it is so stinking cute. I love that it's like half gold necklace, half pearls. I feel like it's very, very modern. And then I have this little C, also little pearls. And this is from Stone and Strand. I get questions about this all the time and they make all the other initials obviously. And I've just been wearing it a lot with my layering pieces. And then I have this chain here from Majuri and I do have an affiliate link down below that will give you 10% off of your Majuri purchase and then these earrings are the same ones that I always have in I do have a video all about my everyday jewelry so if you haven't seen that video yet I highly recommend checking it out this next outfit I feel like we need to give a moment of appreciation for these jeans and how nicely they fit me so these are the curvy 90s cheeky jean and they are so flattering on so I actually ordered them in the normal 90s cheeky and then the curvy version and I actually like the way that the curvy version fit better I wouldn't say that I'm curvy but I do have a little bit more of an athletic build and normally I struggle with having jeans that fit my thighs and my bum but also fit my waist so if you have that same issue you should try these jeans because honestly they are so flattering on they fit my waist like perfectly and then they're like really flattering around here like it doesn't give me the sports bra butt or anything like that and I almost feel like they are a touch big around this area just because my thighs aren't super super thick so if you are like really really curvy and you have been struggling to find jeans that fit you you need to try these jeans out because honestly they are so flattering and I feel like the way that they're shaped almost makes it look like I have curves as well it's crazy so these are great they're a little bit more of a like slim crop Fit. So I actually have it paired with these little sandals that are also from Everlane. These are a little bit more of a platform situation. So I feel like they are so comfortable. Great if you want to walk long distances. And it's really giving me like touristy vibes as well. I, I don't know what it is. But I clipped up my hair. And this is actually a clip that my girlfriend Jenny left at my house. So shout out to Jenny. I'm borrowing your hair clip. But this outfit is really laid back. We have the same situation. But in case you wanted to try it out with jeans, this is what it looks like. I also wanted just to appreciate the jeans because I love them. This next outfit, I got a flannel that I thrifted last week. If you watch my Pasadena Rose Bowl vlog, I thrifted this flannel recently and I'm obsessed with it. I feel like the blues in it make it very easy to style. I want to bring back the same little yoga pants situation and the cropped aloe tank that I wore earlier and I paired with it my high platform chucks. These shoes really help to lengthen my legs because they do have a platform and it just makes the outfit look really like thrifty and vintagey, which I love. I also, like I said, I've been really into wearing like button ups and flannels as jackets because it's so easy. If it gets hot, I can take it off, I can tie it around my waist. I just feel like it's super versatile and if it is really hot where you are, just wear the outfit without the flannel, but maybe you could like leave it as like a fashion item, you know, a little something like this. I don't know. I love flannels and I feel like it helps to really elevate the whole outfit. Okay, this next outfit is a little bit more simple. I just have some good staple pieces, especially throughout the week. Eventually, I get so sick of being the most stylish person in class, so sometimes you just gotta tone it back, you know? But no, this is just an easier outfit, something that I don't really have to think much about. It's just easy, but still looks really, really cute. I have this little cropped long sleeve top from Make the Label. Make the Label is also another sustainable brand that I love, and I actually have sweatpants from them that I will share next, but this is a waffle knit crop tee and I love the heck out of crop tees when I was in college because I feel like they're so fun to wear, very flattering, kind of flirty. And then I paired with it these same 90s cheeky jeans from earlier and I just love the way that they define my waist. I just feel like they make my legs look so good, they make the bums look really, really good. I paired with it my checkered bands. These are the vault ones and I recently bought another pair because the last ones I, I had I felt like were just a little bit too small for me so I sized up in these and now they fit me perfect. So if you guys want, I recently purged my closet and have a lot of items that I wanna get rid of so I'm gonna upload them to my Depop. So make sure you follow me on Depop. Paired with it the same beige tote back from earlier just because the colors play together really nicely and it's really simple but still really classic. Next, 
I love this outfit. This is probably the most realistic college outfit. Like if I was going back to school, this is probably what I would wear because it's so cozy. These sweatpants are from Make the Label and it actually matches the long sleeve that I wore earlier. It's like the same exact color. It's kind of like a light white beige situation and they're so cozy. I have them in a size medium just because I feel like they fit a little bit tight. So I love them because they have a little seam down the middle. So I feel like they look a little bit more higher end than your average sweatpants. Pant. I paired with it my same checkered bands from earlier. Honestly, these are some of my most worn shoes because they're so easy to slip on and they really help to add a little bit of edge and punk to an outfit. And then I have my same aloe bralette bra situation with a gray zip up. And I just feel like the colors in here play together really nicely. Even though I am wearing like a full sweatpants outfit, I still look like very fashionable and I put a little bit of effort, but not a lot. <laughs> Lastly, I wanted to style this unitar just one more time and I wanted to wear it with a button up and I feel like this is a little bit more of an elevated outfit. I changed out my low cut socks for these higher ones. These ones are actually from Uniqlo, but I love Bomba socks. Girlfriend also makes really great socks and Lululemon has really great socks as well. I feel like the hat ties together the whole outfit because without it, it just, it looks like it's missing something, you know? But I love this outfit, super easy. I feel like this is a fun way to style this unitard and there's so many different ways to style it. So I wanted to pair it with a button up and then I styled it with my same New Balances from earlier. So anyways, that brings us to the end of this lookbook. I hope you guys enjoyed going back to college with me, going back to school with all of these fun casual outfits. Let me know if you guys do want to see a part two a little bit more like warmer weather appropriate. If you live in places like LA where it is literally like 90 degrees today and I'm so hot and sweaty and I would never leave the house in any of these outfits right now because summer's still here. So let me know if you want to see a part two. I'll go ahead and link all the pieces down below, but that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.